Hi friends, I'm Melanie. Welcome to my sewing room. This is Make It Joyful and happy Friday Sews. Uh, thanks to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag. Today I've got some makes for you, some fabric, a fabric haul, and I bought three new patterns that I'm excited to share with you too. So let's get on with the makes. There are three things I worked on this week. The first one is I painted some shoes and they are awesome. So let me show you a little clip of me making these shoes and then I'll show you the finished result. These are the shoes I bought from Amazon. They are by Hey Dude and I, they're really comfortable. They're lightweight. They've got a great um, insole that is, uh, I have plantar fasciitis if I don't wear the proper footwear. So I need something with a high arch and everything else. So they're super comfortable, but I don't really love the, the colors. It's kind of this rose pinky gray, which is nice, but I really want something very bold and colorful. So I've decided to paint them. Now these ones are canvas. As you can see, I have stuffed my shoes and taped the edges and I've been getting out. So these fabric paints, I am not impressed with. Um, I went to put blue on the back and you couldn't even see it. So I put white paint on underneath and then I put white paint. I'm doing white all over the shoe, but this side where you can barely see anything, that was this fabric paint. So it is doing nothing. It just kind of disappears. So I moved to my regular old acrylic paints. So this is what I have there. That's just a Craftsmark paint, acrylic paint. So that's why I'm gonna move to just acrylics because this is ridiculous. I'm gonna be here all day trying to do that. So that's my update. Hi friends, it is Saturday morning and I have put the first coat of color on my shoes. So this is what they look like so far. My style is I kind of go with blobs of color first. I think that's what I do. Yeah, I pretty much do that. And then I kind of go in with whatever details or design that I want over it. So it just has this nice rich color base to work with. Um, I'm part of a neighborhood it's called buy nothing group and they have them all over the country for different neighborhoods it's on facebook and then you put up in this group what you want to get rid of and other people do and then you take what other people are offering it's all for free so anyway somebody was giving away a bag full of puff paint and different fabric paint so i snatched that up I love that I just picked it up for free. It's so fabulous. All right, here are the finished shoes. Ta-da! I absolutely love these shoes. I have already worn them out. They go with everything. <laughs> and they're just so much fun. I did put a little bit of glow-in-the-dark paint. So next to the white dots, there are some kind of I don't know, booger colored drops <laughs> and those glow in the dark. So there are little spots in the dark. It looks really cute. And then I put this phrase on it. There's this E.E. E. Cummings poem that I really like called, um, I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart, something like that. Um, and one of the lines in that poem is whatever a son will always sing is you. And so I put that on both shoes. I used puff paint to make kind of faux stitching along both of them. And of course the backs are the same. When there's so many colors going on, I find it nice to have little areas where my brain can have some predictability. Like, okay, both the backs look the same. That kind of adds some grounding in my mind to the overall artsy look of these shoes. I absolutely love them. This was a great make and I can't wait to make more. <laughs> All right, the next thing I made was a t-shirt. I actually, it wasn't a t-shirt, it's a long sleeve shirt. I 
wanted to do my Agnes top, but change it up just a little bit. I started this a couple months ago. I had this idea and then I kind of got bored making Agnes tops. <laughs> I made a few at the end of last year. So what I did was I just kind of set it aside. And the other day I had four hours in my sewing room that was just sitting on my dresser. So I thought I need to go ahead and finish this up. So let me try it on and show you what it looks like. All right, here's my top. I did contrasting. Well, I kind of hacked the pattern, cut it, kept the sleeve short and added these cuffs. This is double brush poly. It's kind of coming up more yellow on the camera, but it's actually more of a lime green color. And then the top, I just have a regular, um, a me made skirt on today, but so I like this top. It fits great. It's super comfortable. And after I made it, I decided that it would go great with some new fabric that I just bought. So let me move into the fabric haul portion of this video. <laughs> I recently purchased um, five, I think, different cotton poplin fabrics from Fashion Fabrics Club. And I, I'd been looking at these designs for a few months. Finally, the other day, I was, I just thought these are so beautiful. I don't want them to run out because I absolutely love them. So I don't, don't normally purchase cotton poplin. So then I was thinking, uh, what am I going to do with all this? Um, because I can't, I don't want to make anything that I'm going to need to iron because that is just not part of my lifestyle right now. Anyway, let me show you, um, I'm gonna show you the first fabric is the fabric I'm thinking to make some pajama pants to go with this top. So here it is. I got three yards of all of it, all of these fabrics, I mean. So this cotton pomplin, I think it has 3% spandex, so there's no stretch that way but selvage to selvage, there's some stretch. Let me get it like that, there you go. And then it has some good bias stretch too. Anyway, I think that these will look so cute as some pajama pants and it goes really well with the colors in this top. I'm planning uh, to make the pants for the Carolyn pajamas by Closet Core. Here's a picture. So they have pocket drawstring, and I think I'm going to add a faux, not drawstring, elastic. I think I'm gonna add a faux drawstring because a long time ago I had some pajama pants like this, and they had some really, they were floral, they were so pretty and springy, and they had a thick ribbon through the top that just looked so beautiful. So that's what I'm thinking. The reason I got this pattern too was I really like, um, they have a detail here where you can add some piping along the cuff lines and I think along the pockets, I wanna say, but I'm not totally sure about that. So that's why I bought that pattern. Plus, I have seen so many people make this and they look good on everybody, the tops and the bottoms. I don't normally wear this kind of top to bed, so it's like a button-up top and it has piping along the edges. I'll insert a picture so you can know if you haven't seen them already. I don't normally go for that style, but I might just try it out because they look so cute. So that's fabric number one. Fabric number two, I have it in two colorways. I didn't realize they were exactly the same, but I am no regrets. I still love them. Here it is. So this one, I don't know if you can see, but there's a bit of kind of a yellowish, greenish color going through there. I just think that is so beautiful. I also got it in pink, and green so you can see there and here's aren't those just so beautiful <laughs> then, 
The next ones, I got the same thing in three colorways. Again, I didn't quite realize that they were exactly the same, but also no regrets. These are a um, kind of retro print that I really love. Here it is in yellow. Come on, how could I pass that up? Isn't that gorgeous? Then I've got it, I don't think this, this one hasn't been washed yet. It's very stiff. Then I got that in pink. And in blue. And that's just beautiful. I got these, these kind of reminded me of when I was a little girl, I had these cotton floral pants. And I remember I had several pairs and I remember walking to the park with my mom one day, I was thinking, I really hope I don't get this pair stained because it was my last pair that didn't have a stain on it and they were the most beautiful pants ever. And then I fell over and got grass stains on the knees and I was so upset and I don't know why, but my whole life that memory has been in my head and how beautiful those pants were and how you'd never find pants that looked like that. Um, anyway, so when I saw these fabrics, even though it's not the same type of print, just the floral and the colors, made me think of those pants. Now, I'm not planning to make pants with these. I don't know that that would work with my lifestyle. I don't know, what do you think? Should I make pants in these? I mean, I know I'm making pajama pants, but basically I'm not quite sure what to make with these because it is a fabric that I don't use a lot and um, I don't want anything I'm going to have to iron. Now, this has been washed. It doesn't look too wrinkly. I did think it would be cute to make a top and see if it would be something that I would wear. So I got this Bond shirt pattern from Itch to Stitch. They had a sale the other day. So it's a button up, but what I like is that it doesn't have the big collar. I like some space around here. It can also be a dress. And this pattern looked really cute as well. Anyway, so let me know what you think. If you use that fabric a lot, I don't like anything that's too stiff. Plus, I just run around with kids all day. But I think if I had kind of a casual button-up shirt, that that might be cool. I could put on, you know, a tank top underneath and even just kind of wear it out. I'm not 100% not sure because of the whole ironing thing. I also don't like wrinkles. <laughs> so who knows? But anyway, right now, solid plans for those Carolyn pajama pants. All right, I have one more fabric that I bought at the same time, and this was a wild card. This is a gold knit fabric, very stretchy, and it has a, a backing, a black knit backing. So it is soft on the back. Now this, I was, I only got a yard. <laughs> I was thinking either making a tank top full on gold, here I am kind of tank top, or I might use it for decorative accents to other tops that I make. There was a tank top I saw that was really cute that was kind of a coral color and then it had some gold sequins, like a maybe four inches of gold sequins on each shoulder. But I can't do sequins because I'm carrying children a lot and I don't want them to rub their face against the sequins. But I could insert a little, like check this out. You know, <laughs> I don't know. It looks very bold right now, but um, that's what I'm going for this year. So anyway, that idea, or maybe even just a simple white long sleeve top with some thick gold, like a couple thick gold stripes on it, maybe even. So just kind of using it as little accent pieces. 
but that was just a fun a fun fabric purchase all right so i've told you my new fabrics i've shown you two of the patterns i got i also bought the mountain view pull-on pants from or pull-on jeans from itch to stitch they were having a birthday sale this week so i got those two patterns the bond shirt and the mountain view pants i did just purchase some fabric for those mountain view jeans that's awesome so awesome but i need to find a less expensive fabric that i can test the pattern in because i do not want to use the fabric that i have purchased i got it from mood i can't wait to show you when it gets in but i i just purchased it all right so that's all the sewing news now there wasn't a lot of sewing this week because my big project this week was actually working on our kitchen island. So we're planning to renovate our kitchen this year. We're not doing it all ourselves, but you know how you do. It's like, I was thinking we have kind of a builder basic island and it works, it's great. But I thought, you know, I would really like some more molding all over that island. So it looks a little more substantial. And I found a DIY blog <laughs> and several of them that said, you can do this. My husband's watching my baby. I'm not just like abandoning a crying child. She just wants out of her chair because she's done with her food. If you can hear her, that's what's going on. Anyway, so I sent it to my husband. I said, you know what? We could do this ourselves. So um, I've also, I have watched home improvement shows and DIY shows since I was a little kid. Like not just, oh, here are some designers redoing a house, but like actual woodworking, doing different things to try to build things. But until we bought this house, I always lived in an apartment and there wasn't any way for me to build anything like that. So this past weekend, we went to Home Depot together. We got all the wood. I made two other trips to get wood we additionally needed. <laughs> just, just par for the course for any kind of project like that, right? And my, luckily, the next day, my stepdad was coming over. And I did not realize that when I decided this was the day to get this job done. Well, he does a lot of woodworking. He has a lot of tools. So he brought over some of his saws because we were just gonna hand saw it all. He brought over some saws and his expertise and he and I worked on it, um, I guess Sunday, doing that together. And we got so far and then I finished it up um, the last couple of days. So all the molding is done. And I'll show you a picture of before and now that all the molding is done. So my next step for this coming week and weekend is I need to fill, use some wood filler on a lot of places to make it look perfectly even. Um, and then, you know, caulk everything. Then we'll do the sanding and painting at some point. But I'm really happy with how it's turning out. It's it's coming out great. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. But tomorrow is my son's fourth birthday and we're having a party Friday and Saturday. So that's going to be the weekend. I think Sunday I might get some time to sew though. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this Friday Sews and I hope you have a wonderful week. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.